choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve, serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Vation from a corrupted system, then I'll introduce you to Taha from Firam. He's going to tell you thank a little you, bit more about Thank you, thank you very it. much, thank you very much. My name is Taha Abbas, and I have a few short minutes to share with you our mission. And when I say our mission, I'm talking about Satoshi's mission. Yes, and I want to share with you why Satoshi's mission is a mission about giving power back to the people. It's a mission about decentralization. It's a mission about free, fair, and a transform, transparent form of transferring payments from one to the other, but it's about a lot more than that. I was born and raised in Pakistan. Now I get to live in a country called USA, which is supposed to be about pioneering and inspiring the freedoms and the liberties that we have. But we realize all too often that we are told these stories like the video that you heard earlier and the presentation you saw from Sovereign earlier, where every day you go to work, you come home, and you realize, man, I don't have enough. I thought I was enough, but I don't seem to be. My cost of rent is going up. The cost of my mortgage is going up. I can't probably even afford to buy a car. And if I can, the payments of those are going up. All of these terms can be defined as something called inflation. Inflation seems to be a fact that our governments and our central authorities have taught us somehow just to accept as a fact of life, similar to the fact that we need to breathe to live. Well, Bitcoin and Satoshi with his white paper on October 31st, 2008, chose to question that. He chose to question a norm. We had a really interesting um, conversation with Linda Alden not too long ago where she spoke about how the currencies that we get to use, the fiat currencies that we get to use, are not chosen by us, but rather assigned to us simply because of the place in the world that we were born. And unless you're in the top 10 currencies, which already are also losing value very, very quickly, the currency of every other country seems to lose value, meaning the cost of your living goes up, and you don't make that decision. Inflation is chosen by the folks controlling your monetary policy. Bitcoin supply is constant. It is released at a specific rate every time a block is mined. Every four years, a halving event occurs and that supply goes down. Why is this important? This is important because this monetary system can power the freedoms that you so desire. In my country, in Pakistan, for example, X can be banned by the government. Twitter can be banned by the government. Telegram can be banned by the government. In fact, it is so. So our voices can be turned off. I imagine a world many, many years from now where if they want to turn the internet off, they will have to come to us and they will have to take our phones away. That means a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer internet. But how does that become possible? Well, let me talk to you about why to make that vision possible we started Ferrum. I am the co-creator of Ferrum and CTO at Ferrum Labs, along with the original founders who started this vision. We picked the name Ferrum because it's the 26th element on the, on the periodic table, and it has a unique ability to fuse with the most amount of elements with the least amount of friction. So it's in the name. And what we've done here with the Ordinals Lounge, if you haven't gone to, after my talk, there's a pizza and wine party, I invite you to come over there and learn a lot more. What I hope to share with you is how Ferrum, with its technical infrastructure, with its connections, with its resources, has been able to inspire some incredible team members and community members and hopefully champions like yourselves to come and look at the art that has been created by amazing artists that is being displayed on screens all around. Look at the amazing projects like Seize Control who's sharing culture. Look at the people like Jan from Experts who are building ways to move you from spreadsheets to buy ordinals to a seamless experience. While these things may seem arbitrary, we are laying the foundation of the future that all of our future generations will live. As JFK said, a mission that's great enough, a mission that's hard enough, that's difficult enough, is the mission worth doing. Because that grand vision will invite us all to come together 
and combine all of our abilities. And instead of competing my project versus your project or your art versus my art, we together talk about how can we empower people and how can we ensure that we build a world where our voices cannot be crushed down. As you can see the code on the screen that was just shown, which will come back a little bit later in the video, make sure you scan that QR code and you'll get a chance to share your story. The reason Ferrum believes in this specific vision, we are an interoperability protocol, so why are we here at Ordinals? Why am I talking half of this talk about Satoshi's mission and Bitcoin? It's because we believe that Ordinals are the way to tell Bitcoin's story. And we also believe that while Bitcoin started it all, Bitcoin alone is not the answer. It is the leader of the answer, but we want to bring together the EVM community, the Solana community, all of the integrated communities, and instead of creating the segmentation of Bitcoin versus EVM, it's all of us, our voices, versus those who choose to crush them. This is why the Ordinals Passport that we co-created that you saw earlier from Trevor, it's a passport that is an Ordinals Passport, and on Bitcoin there will be a collection that will be dropped, so if you have that passport, you'll get a Genesis collection with that, so if you don't, make sure you grab it but its passport numbers are secured by Chainlink VRF, which is an EVM Oracle system. So this implementation of technology showcases how we can bring folks together and hopefully bring you together into the mission and share the mission of Satoshi. What is that mission? That mission is I no longer accept the rent and prices of co cost of gas, cost of mortgage continues to go up. I want to choose my currency and that currency is Bitcoin. This is the mission that we started when Ferrum was born six years ago in the bear market. We chose to build for six years, and we built for six years, and we build now to build a future that will be lasting for generations, centuries, and hopefully millennia, at a time where people will think, who were these people that inspired so many amazing creators to come together and create this new reality where governments no longer get to control where our money goes, what we say, how it's spent, what our freedoms look like, whose gender or whose identity or whose uh, political beliefs are going to be accepted as a norm. We want to share this freedom. That is the Ferrum mission. So if you believe in such a vision, a vision where we have a world where there's no restriction on who you want to be, no restriction on what you want to create, no restriction on who you can collaborate with, then I invite you to join Ferrum's mission by scanning this QR code and sharing your story. Don't share just the Ferrum story. Because we believe Ferrum and Satoshi's story is all of your stories. And this is not just lip service. The, the lounge that we have created out there is one of the largest areas in the entire conference. Thanks to the help from John and Trevor's team, we were able to secure this area and we were able to donate it to all of the artists and creators and projects that we want to emphasize. So if you are a project that needs help getting your voice out, getting your vision out, you want to scan this QR code, follow our company, follow myself, and come talk to us in the Ordinals Lounge. This is the work that we believe is our life's work. So help us get your life's work out into the world. And I'll leave you with something a little bit more lighthearted and fun, and I'll be coming up. But like most of the people who are buying assets at some point want to sell the assets at a profit. People, people, people that use, that use, that use fiat, 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 fiat currency, currency as a store of store. Of value, we call them we core. We call them we core. People, people, people that use fiat currency. We call them we core. 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 There's a name for them.